Dental SLA 3D Printer. Zenith 3D Printer, independently developed by dentists for the dental industry. Comes with the following 12 components and accessories. Power adapter. Steel scraper for the printing plate. Power cable. Urethane scraper for the vat. USB cable. USB flash drive. Wrench. User manual. Vat sealer. Vat. And transparent vat plate. Prior to using Zenith 3D printing system, make sure to check the interior and exterior of the printer, as well as other components and consumables. If any of the components are missing or damaged, please contact any of our authorized dealers shown on the bottom of the screen. Let's now get started by learning how to install Zenith 3D printer. First, open the cover of the 3D printer and slowly push up the 3D printing plate using both hands. Remove the protective shock absorbing material and close the cover. Connect the power adapter to the printer and turn on the power switch. When the power is turned on, the printing plate will automatically start moving up and down. Once the printing plate stops moving, open the printer cover and secure the vat handle on the main body to set up the vat. Then take a bottle of resin and shake it sufficiently. Pour a moderate amount of resin into the vat up to the marked line. Close the cover and connect the printer to your computer using the USB cable provided. This completes the Zenith 3D printer setup. Zenith requires an operating system of Windows 7 or higher. And as soon as it is connected to computer, the driver software will automatically get installed. If the PC fails to detect and install the HID compliant printer driver automatically, check the connection of the USB cable to the USB port. Now, let's check out the Zenith software installation method as well as a few tips on how to use the device. First, insert the USB flash drive provided into your PC's USB port. Then, open the install folder and click on Zenith serial number .exe. A pop window will appear, prompting you to select a language you wish to use. Select one of the languages available and continue with the installation process. Should you choose to change the installation location, click Browse and select a new installation location. Once that's done, the software installation process will begin. Once the software has been installed successfully, a shortcut to the program will be automatically created on the desktop. Now, let's try using the Zenith program to get a 3D print. If more than two-thirds of the 3D model do not come into contact with the base plate, then supports must be generated. Now, let's learn how to set up the supports. Click on the support icon shown on the left side of the screen and click Generate Supports. The functions of the other buttons are as follows. If you wish to delete, add or edit any of the supports generated using Generate Supports, select the Edit Supports function. 
After editing the supports as necessary, click Apply Supports. Erect the supports on the base plate and start the printing process. When it comes to generating supports, the following precautions must be observed, so make sure to familiarize yourself with the following information before starting using the printer. For a thorough type model, do not add any supports in the hollow section. For a model with a flat bottom, it is advised that you install supports on the base plate. If supports have been generated at a wrong location, you may be prompted with an error message. This problem can be addressed by changing the location of the supports. You can change the size, location and direction of the supports on the base plate. In case of generating multiple supports simultaneously, it may take some time to complete the process, depending on the specifications of your PC. Zenith 3D Printer uses special raw materials developed by dentists to produce dental standard 3D models that are of the highest quality. There are a total of five different materials used with Zenith. In this video, we'll tell you about the guide material printing method. First, open printer setup. For quality of material, select Clear SG and click Apply. Then, open the 3D STL file for the 3D model you wish to print. Decide where you want to print the model and install the supports as necessary. There are two ways to arrange the supports, and they are as follows. Number one, place the supports on the surface of the model that will not come into contact with the teeth. Number two, place individual supports on the edges of the model that will not come into contact with the teeth. After placing the supports in the desired locations, install the base plate supports. Press the button and start printing. Hold on. When printing a cab crown or denture frame with a relatively small installation area, install the supports while taking the following matters into account. Cab crown. Supports can be generated in the area of the dental groove or margin. Denture frame. After generating the supports automatically, Check whether the supports have been generated properly in sharp, pointy areas such as the clasp. We are now ready to officially start the 3D printing process. So, let's click on the printing icon and observe the printing process. The high-tech Zenith 3D printing system is used to produce precise and high-quality 3D models for use in dentistry. The stereolithography, or SLA, printing technology for high-precision curing of liquid photopolymer resin has been independently developed by Zenith. And it has been incorporated with the advanced optical system that ensures minimal transmission error, high-quality F-theta lens that helps overcome the limitations of regular lenses. An anti-shaking Z-axis actuator to produce 3D prints of the highest quality. Opening the cover during the printing process will cancel the process, so make sure you read the user's manual and follow the prescribed guidelines. The printing time varies depending on the material, printing volume, and form of production. A particular note is special type of resin developed by dentists in accordance with the rapid prototyping RP system in dentistry. Can be used to make a wide variety of 3D models such as dental model, wax up pattern, surgical guide and splint with high precision and speed. Now let's check out the processes through which the 3D printed model is transformed into a finished product.
Once the printing plate stops moving, turn the locking handle counterclockwise and pull the plate toward you to detach it. Then, using the printing plate scraper to carefully separate the printed model. Immerse the 3D model into the cleansing liquid. Use a brush to gently clean it. Check the vat for presence of residue substances. Put the printing plate back in its original spot and lock it in place with the locking handle. Use a nipper to remove the supports from the 3D model after it's been cleaned. After the supports have been removed, place the 3D model in the curing machine. The 3D model is now ready to be used. Now use the Zenith 3D printing system to print a wide variety of dental materials. Zenith 3D printer should be used only by those with a thorough understanding of how to use it. We advise users to use adequate personal protective equipment for their personal safety. Touching or arbitrarily manipulating the printer during its operation may lead to injuries. Take proper safety precautions when handling the device. The UV laser beam for the device can cause serious damage to the eyes, so avoid direct exposure. When using resin, make sure to take the safety precautions prescribed in the bottle of the resin. Install the 3D printer in an area equipped with a ventilation system and use it at room temperature between 22 and 25 degrees Celsius. There may be precipitates that have formed in the materials that have not been used for a long time. Exposure to light may result in natural curing of the resin, so make sure to observe the prescribed handling and storage precautions. Before using any leftover resin in the vat, stir the content inside the vat using the urethane scraper and remove any precipitates and foreign substances. A bottle of resin can be used for up to six months after it's opened. If the vat surface starts to appear hazy, or the quality of the 3D printed model starts to deteriorate, then replace the transparent plate with a new one. Do not wash the vat. Before using a different type of resin, remove the vat first. If you wish to pause a printing process, briefly press the round button on the bottom of the device. Press it again to restart the process. Note that pressing the button for more than three seconds will cause the process to stop completely. In case the resin runs out during the printing process, briefly press the button to pause the printing process and refill the resin. If you open the cover under your own discretion, without following the instructions in the manual, the printing process will be cancelled, so be careful. In case the power is turned off abnormally during the printing process due to a blackout, for example, then remove the 3D model from the printing plate and start reprinting using the software. In the event of a problem while using the printer, turn off the power immediately and unplug the device. Contact the customer center for assistance. This device is intended to be used for 3D printing only and should not be used for any other purposes. Dentists shall not be held liable for any problems arising from failing to adhere to the instructions or the purpose of use. Lastly, let's take a look at how to replace the transparent vat plate before concluding this video. First, use the wrench provided in the product package to twist the bolts in the clockwise direction to remove them from the vat. After removing all the bolts, lift the top plate of the vat for removal. Lift out the transparent vat plate inside and replace it with a new one. Reassemble the vat by going through the aforementioned steps backwards. We hope that you enjoy a more convenient and enjoyable digital life with Zenith.
Dental SLA 3D Printer. Zenith.